You know when you go on Instagram and you post your stories and then you see 100 people viewed your story, maybe you got one like and then you go to the next story and it's like 50 people and then you go to the next story and it's like 10 people and then so people are falling off of the stories. That sucks. I know it sucks because I've been through it. Sometimes I go through it, but I have learned a way to actually deal with it and get people to engage with my content in the stories because stories are winning. I am telling you, stories are winning. So today's quote is go grow through what you go through. So let's deal with the stories story. <laughs> so let's get started with today's video. Today's video is sponsored by me. Me, myself, and I. But someday, maybe I'll be talking about other sponsors. Anyway, let's start with the engagement of stories. Typically, the advice that you get is you need to post less stories. Don't post 20 stories and all of that at once. And then another advice that you might see quite a lot is to use your stickers. Now, I want you to take this advice. It is typical advice, but this video goes in a little bit deeper and I'm going to be giving you strategies um, to actually make your content in your stories winning, okay? Now, before we get into the video, I just want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel um, and give your girl that vava boom to keep on making this video so I can help you market your business on social media and get those clients on social media. So hit that subscribe and like and share if you want to. But yes, I do appreciate each and every subscription and definitely leave the comments below if something resonates with you here. So let's not waste any more time and start with today's video. Let's start with the mistakes that I see other people make on social media. I used to make them. Sometimes I make them because I am not, uh, like I'm not planning my social media as I should because I'm so busy with clients things. But here are the mistakes that I used to make and other people I see are making on Instagram. Mistake number one, is having incoher incoherent posts in your stories. These posts don't feed into each other. One moment you're posting about Rihanna, one moment you're posting your product, one moment you're posting Kanye West and some code, one moment you're posting some shoes. There is no like moving through a story. So your stories is there for a reason. It's a story. Tell a story with your stories. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you're making that mistake, cut it out. Stop making that mistake of just posting anything you see that you like on Instagram. Now let's move on to mistake number two. Mistake number two that other people are making is just sharing only the stories that they've shared in the main feed. Like maybe you posted today like, uh, here's tips to help you, but then you just share that only that goes to show that you actually haven't planned for your stories And a lot more people see your stories than your posts, which is good You do need to share it, but share it in context and don't just Let that not be the only thing that you share in your stories Not just your posts. You need to plan your stories. You need to have um, Stories in your story besides the post Mistake number three is sharing everything, like I said, from other pages that you like, but it has nothing to do with your brand. At the end of the day, if you're on Instagram, you are a brand, whether you like it or not. You're branding yourself in a certain way. You are making people see you a certain way. Unfortunately, on social media, I, I'm not going to call everybody up and be like, hey, are you really like this? Are you really like that? Do you really like this? I just go with what you show me. So if one day you're posting something that is off brand, you're busy doing other things, I'm not seeing that brand. So people are very strategic. You might think that the influencers that you are watching on Instagram, they are just posting for the sake of posting by the beach in their bikini. It is all strategic. It is all thought of at least the influencers that want to get paid that are working with brands and things like that. This idea of having like a personal brand, like a personal account and whatever, you are branding yourself. You are branding yourself. You are, you are a brand yourself. 
you're just displaying certain you know aspects of you on social media that will make people see you a certain way so when you share something don't just share anything share something that is related to who you are as a person who you want other people to um, like the light that you want other people to see you in and how you want to be remembered as a brand as somebody who shares their life on Instagram and on social media mistake number four and this one really hurts me <laughs> uh, mistake number four is not tagging people when you share posts so yes they might be relevant but maybe you share in your story something that i posted and then when i go to my posts i most of the time i actually see that people shared my posts but i don't know who it is because nobody is tagging me in the stories so that i can thank them for posting so that i can also share on my page like wow thank you and see their business so if you don't tag me in your stories I'm not going to see it. So in your stories, you need to put the at and then put my name in there. Whoever you want to take. So because then they get a message in their inbox saying that this person tagged you in their, you know, in their post. And then they share it like thanks. Decent accounts do that. They do thank you for sharing. Some of them will reshare. But please tag, tag, tag so that you can get exposed to the right people. Don't just tag for no reason like tag when it's actually necessary and when it's relevant but do remember to tag when you share in your stories mistake number five is you avoid video by all means by all costs <laughs> you avoid showing up in stories because you feel like i don't know like you feel oh people are gonna judge me or something like that people are there for themselves honestly they're not like if somebody looks at your picture and they think oh she looks however they'll just scroll to the next and that doesn't hurt you in any way but you not engaging with people and showing your personality you are stopping yourself from potentially meeting somebody that can connect with you and want to do business with you and want to buy with you and that just creates that trust thing a bit faster so that you can get over that hurdle and start selling and start connecting and start building those relationships. So remember when you stop yourself from coming on in stories and talking about your day or whatever you're feeling or whatever you're thinking, you're stopping yourself not only from people who are going to judge you, but you're stopping yourself from people that will actually buy from you. Just remember that which one is more costly, somebody judging you or somebody buying from you which one costs your business think about it mistake number six and this is going to be the last mistake so you forget to highlight the stories i'm guilty of this so after you share your stories and it's tips you know in the stories at the top um you have written or put something up you put in the stories to highlight like products prices um you know anything like that you need to highlight every time you post a product highlight it so that it falls under the category of product i forget to do that because when people go on to your stories which i have done and i'm sure some people do do that they won't see anything in the stories or they'll just see old things that you've shared a long time ago but not relevant things and you also need to keep your story highlights updated I'm talking for you I'm talking for myself so this is something that you and I need to do are we in agreement Put it in the comments if you're in agreement and you're going to do this because then i'm going to check out your account <laughs> so now with that uh the mistakes being spoken about and done let's move on to the juicy part which is how you need to structure your story so that they are winning so that they are selling for you because we're out here making sales giving our uh, gifts or something in return nothing wrong with that I'm learning that now okay so we are going to start with the first method of how you can sell with your stories how to structure the stories now on the first this method is the BAB method so I'm going to be using the captioning methods but they absolutely work with stories so the first thing that you need to do the first slide it can be the B which is the before so in this first slide, you're going to tell your customer like, this is how your world uh, was um, before. So this is how 
you are going through life right now so for me because i work with social media ma marketing i can say to my clients or to people that want to work with me that right now you are frustrated with posting on social media you don't know what to post you don't know like you're posting but nothing is working that is frustrating i'm already telling them what is going on in the world if you're somebody who does hair, you can say you're having a bad day and you don't know what you're going to do, but putting on a duke is not enough. So we have some, you get what I'm saying? So on the first page, just talk about the mistake, like the, 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 the thing that is hurting them that they're going through right now. On the second slide, you go to the after. So now you tell them after they've dealt with you, like imagine what it would be like if this issue could be solved like if you just woke up and you never had to think about social media again if you want the management uh, side of things or imagine waking up and your content is done for the month all you're doing is just posting sharing and carrying on with your life and doing your business stuff knowing that on social media people are seeing your account people are interacting with your account just imagine the relief so with that being said, if you're in the hair industry, like imagine you just, you know, throw on the wig and you look hot and you're ready to take on the day. So you want to put that in their imagination. After the issue, the slide with the issue, slide one, you move on to slide two, which has the after, which we're all looking for. And then the last slide, you have the bridge, which is, I am the bridge. I'm going to take you from slide one, which was your problem and slide two bring you to the solution so me this is the services that i offer so this third slide is where you talk about the services that you offer and then of course the last slide is your contact details and you know this is how you can reach me or you can say if you want me to reach you uh you know click uh which would you like me to to contact you and then somebody can say yes or they can say no or not today you know and then you can use this the sticker for that so there you go there is method one and there is a winning strategy for your stories to sell now let's move on to the second method so we have three methods that I'm going to talk with you today the second method is the IDA method this one is very popular in the marketing industry and all of that AIDA so firstly it's the attention you need to get people's attention with the first slide. You can say things like, I have something exciting happening. Or, you know, like something big is about to happen. That has my attention. Now you move them to the interest side. On the interest side, you talk about, like, give them information that appeals to them, that appeals to, you know, the people that you're trying to get. Like, for me, I'll be like, listen, I have a secret for you. Um, the second slide, I'll be telling them, this is what you're struggling with. I know what you've been going through, uh, but there's solutions to that. And then you go to the third slide, which is the desire. So you want to tell them about the benefit that meets their desires. So what benefit are you giving them? Stop talking about just product, product, product. I'm not buying a product, I'm buying clear skin. I am not buying toothpaste, I'm buying white teeth. I am not buying a wig, I'm buying put, put together, good looking. <laughs> so you need to say those benefits. When you sell, whatever you're selling, sell the benefits. Not that just the functionality. People don't, don't buy on functionality. Otherwise, they wouldn't be buying iPhones. To a certain extent, I must say, the camera is bomb.com. But yes, they, they don't just buy just for functionality. They buy for status. They buy to feel good. They buy to look good in front of other people. That's why people buy. So yes, let me not rent on. Let's move on to the last point, which is the action. So you ask them to do something. So after you've told them the benefit, in the next slide, you're going to ask them, give me a call today to get 10% discount. Give me a call now to do this and that. Sign up to our email address so that I can send you these tips straight to your inbox, which is what you need to do, okay? Now let's move on to the third method. So remember the previous one was the AIDA, A-I-D-A. Now, the last method is you speaking to one person. 
speak like you're speaking to one person forget about the ten thousand speak to the person that is going to be giving you the money your ideal client so for me for example slide one i'll be like calling all small business owners boom i got the business owners to you know listen to what i'm saying what is she going to say next for you it could be like listen here beauty queens uh hello who doesn't want to be a beauty queen maybe some don't but i do many women do or you can say are you uh someone who struggles with depression already somebody's listening those that have depression so you need to speak to a specific person that would be slide one slide two you speak about are you tired of experiencing this and this and that for me it would be are you tired of trying to think of things to post on social media are you tired of not getting customers on social media are you tired of not being consistent on social media there you go so with the beauty are you tired of buying products tens and tens of thousands of bottles and they're not working and you can't return them you've wasted a lot of money are you tired of wasting money on beauty products there we go yes i am yes i am now other people they're also going to be saying yes they are you get what i'm saying so you ask them that question now let's move on to slide three of your stories slide three you're going to tell them i have exactly what you need i have the answer to your issues i have the answer to your problem so you tell them okay what's what's the answer now now they're interested what, what answer do you have for me now it's like you're speaking to one person and then you move on to this next slide list everything that you do all the offers and the benefits with my social media coaching you get to have clarity on what it means to have a brand how to brand yourself online how to determine a business model that works for you how to make it work make your time work on social media so that you don't keep scrolling and looking at other people and comparing yourself instead of being there working for your business so there that's my benefit that's what i offer so what do you offer put it in that slide and then the last slide of course is call to action give me a call today why should i give you a call today to get two percent discount give me a call today to get a free consultation that would be mine and what is yours why should people call you today why should people email you why should people watch something like if you tell them watch this latest video that i'm speaking of when i'm doing this and this and that why should people do that so give people that baba boom to do quick things so i want you to let me know please in the comments if something resonated with you that is a mistake that you have been making and you really want to change it and which model out of the three is your favorite and which one are you going to be used i would advise you to mix between and just remember guys just keep it natural keep it normal in the stories in the main feed you do need to be coherent a bit and unless you have like so many people that they do, they really don't care about how your feed looks but otherwise you need to put like proper pictures and things like that in the main feed but on instagram stories how people come after they just you know woke up not long time ago and they are talking about how tired they are because that is a brand if somebody's saying i am tired i've been working late what does that say everything is strategic you need to get with the program and be strategic so on that note please check out my other videos where i speak about business ideas if you haven't yet started a business or otherwise how to stand out on instagram so please don't forget to subscribe and check out my instagram and let's chat so thank you let me not go on and on and on on thank you please join me in the next video don't miss out it's your girl digital to me xoxo signing out bye